Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I uh, today I'm gonna be doing a lot of like cleaning motivation and just getting it all done with me. My daughter had hand, foot, and mouth, so I'm like super behind. I'm gonna take you along um, shopping with me at Target. I have this comforter that I need to return. So if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to stick around. Hey guys, so I just got back from returning my comforter at Target. And I also went to the Dollar Tree, but I really wanted to show you what I got in the dollar section at Target because they had quite a few good things. Um, uh, so I'm just gonna start with like whatever I find in the bag. So first I got this really cute um, bath rug and I'm gonna be decorating my bathroom for Christmas. So I thought this was so cute. It says Feliz Navidad and it was $10. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but um, it was cute and it was inexpensive, so I bought it. And then I really loved this um, hand soap dispenser. It's so pretty and it's just kind of very simple and not too in your face. They did have like other uh, like styles, like they had a Christmas tree and then I forget like a penguin or something, but I just don't like the cartoonish like hol like holiday decorations. Like I don't mind like blow up stuff or stuff for outside, but inside I just like um, a more like classic style, I guess you could say. So I thought this was perfect. Um, and then I bought this white towel to go with my hand towels, which I have to show you the um, other things that I got at Marshall's if that's not in the previous video that I post but I got this white hand towel not hand towel bath towel to go with those so the themes are really just going to be red and white in the bathroom and that's what I got and then this is a comforter I actually had this comforter in my old bed I had a queen and then we upgraded to a king this is the hearth and hand um what is it called it's called the yarn dye stripe comforter set and I love it um, I like the style. It's very simple. My room's gray, so it has gray and white in it. So it just, it blends perfectly. Then I got this mini toy brands advent calendar for my daughter that was sold out online. Um, so I was happy I found it there. And then I got this for the elf on the shelf. It's a mini holiday game. And what is it called? It's great for doll staging it says because they can't really say like elf on the shelf but I thought that would be perfect because sometimes it's hard to like think of what you want to do with your elf on the shelf this I got in the dollar section at Target and look at that it's like um a greenery fill and it was three bucks so that is such a steal sometimes you'll find these at like even Target will sell them for like 10 or more. And then I got this um, green and berries one too. So like perfect and so cheap. And then I got this um, tray for the kids just to put out, you know, Santa's tree and stuff on Christmas night, which I thought was cute. It's so nice. It's a like great quality and it was three bucks. Like you cannot go wrong. And then la I'm super excited about these. I was actually going to buy new stockings and I was going to get them personalized. I love getting stuff personalized. Um, but you guys, it was going to be like, I, I had to get like all new stockings because I like to do a new like theme every year. So last year I did blush and white and I got new stockings. I did not get those personalized, but I wanted to get these stockings because I was going to get them on land's end. And I feel like it's just something, um, they were needlepoint ones, so it's something that you can use like down the years and it doesn't ever go out of style. But how much was it gonna be? $124. And I was like trying to justify in my mind and I'm still like going back and forth about it. Like, should I get them? Should I not? Cause it would be like $30 a stocking. Um, I might end up getting them, I don't know. But I bought these hearth and hand ones because I'm doing a red, I'm doing a classic like tartan, tartan um, theme. So I'm doing red, gold, and green this year. Um, so very classic Christmas 
So unfortunately, they didn't have four of these. Oh gosh, we're wrapped up here. Anyways, they didn't have four of these, but that's okay. Cause I thought, you know what? It might be too much anyway, if they were all the same. So I'm like trying to untangle and it's not working. I got two of these, so it's okay. I think I'm gonna go on Etsy and get like the name tags for them. Um, but I spent 60 compared, so I spent half of what I would have spent um, if I had gotten them personalized, so that's okay. And they're still very nice quality, they're cute. I could get these personalized because they have like the cuff on the top if I really felt so inclined. I don't know about these. It probably wouldn't look right. I could, you just wouldn't be able to really tell well. So I think eventually I'll probably get the personalized ones, but I'm not sure if I will do that this Christmas. And then I went to the Dollar Tree just to see what they had. And I got this as a stocking stuffer for my daughter. She's going to be eight in February. So it's kind of like up her alley around that age range. I got some tape for gifts. <laughs> And then I got this really cute LED projector light. Um, it says projects lighting effects across your ceiling. And I thought, how cute is that? So this was a dollar, you guys. I'm like, if it doesn't look that nice, it's a dollar. So who cares? So I thought that was cute. If it does end up looking cute, I'm probably going to put this in my daughter's room. Um, and then if I do end up liking it, I'll probably go back and get another one. And then I got a bunch of Christmas cards for my mother-in-law, for um, her mom, because her mom always sends us holiday cards. It's so cute. So I thought she would totally appreciate. And you guys, these are a dollar. These are beautiful. Like, look at this one. So nice. Like, these are really pretty cards for a dollar. And you go to like Target and they're like four or five bucks for a card. Like that's too much. And then I got this microfiber kitchen towels. And obviously if you buy at the Dollar Tree, you know that the towels aren't like the best quality. They're not super thick. They're pretty, I mean, they're pretty thin. I usually like to put these on my stove, like on the handle as decor. Um, one reason being I like getting the cheaper ones because splatter um when you're cooking like my fiance is not the best he at keeping like the stove clean or like being a very clean cook if you know what I mean like stuff just like splatters everywhere it's inevitable and um I don't mind if it gets on these towels because they're dollar but if you buy the towels at Marshall's they're like 10 bucks and they're super nice and pretty and then you can't get the stains out because you forget that they're, you know, got dirty and whatnot. So I don't mind these getting ruined. Um, and I like the style of this because it's not so in your face. And it kind of goes with the theme of my kitchen. So, um, yeah, I found some pretty good stuff today. I did finish Christmas shopping for my oldest, which was an ordeal. Like FedEx had actually left my package um, at our like mobile home office we have like an office building and I had gone there and checked and I couldn't find it and it was like $200 in gifts and then plus a pair of um, Lululemon leggings that I had bought which were like $79 so I was freaking out because I was like well it says that it delivered it at my address they're not gonna want to like reimburse me for like what the contents of the package are so I was in just like so disheartened and sad and then yesterday I was driving out of the lot and I kind of caught the reflection of the back entrance of the um office and I like saw package like a reflection of the packages specifically like my lululemon ones because their packaging is very like specific and so I was like that is probably where they left my packages so I like pulled in I ran in and they were there and I literally jumped for joy I couldn't believe it I felt like I had like won some contest um somebody else's package was also there so I'm thinking that the driver just maybe it was a new driver and they weren't aware that like there's a mobile home 
um, park behind the office, but I made sure to update like my FedEx drop off directions, like stating like mobile home number, like whatever to like ensure that it is dropped off at a mobile home with this number, like not the office. Um, I'm, I don't know if any of you guys that live in mobile homes have gone through that whole like delivery thing being a pain because this has happened to me so many times and it's honestly some people might think that it's silly to get upset over something like that but it's not because it's kind of scary like you should be able to expect to get your packages like delivered to your home like you shouldn't be worried um that they're going to be delivered somewhere else especially if they're packages that are of like really high value i i'm not like the richest person on earth and so like i was devastated to find out that my daughter's christmas presents that i had spent so much money on were like misplaced um i would have been able to replace them but not everybody has that luxury and i would have not been happy with spending double the price on presents that should have been delivered to my house so um that's just my little rant about my terrible FedEx delivery experience stick around I'm going so I actually forgot to show you guys one more bag um from the Dollar Tree and Target so at the Dollar Tree I also bought these Airwick stick ups. I have never used them before, but I figured that they would be nice to use in my trash can. Um, it says you can use them like in the closet and the trash and in your car, which is cool. I didn't know you could use it in your car. Um, but like my trash just, I mean, obviously it's trash. It doesn't smell nice. So if for a dollar for two, that's like great. And then I bought this drop ins. I love these drop ins for the toilets. And then at Target, you guys, I got these super cheap outfits for my daughter um this was a dollar 29 from 12.99 for next year so you better bet that i freaking bought whatever they had in the size that she would be so i think even this one this was a dollar 20 like so cute and i was very excited to find this little pumpkin dress wicked wicked cute so I bought that and then I bought my daughter. These were not on sale, but you guys, <laughs> I'm having such a hard time finding clothes that fit my daughter. She's turning eight, but like the seven to eight stuff is just short on her now. And then there's no like eight to 10. I haven't been able to find an eight to 10. I don't know if like such thing exists. So I got her 10 to 12, but I feel like 10 to 12 is just like freaking huge because she's thin and long. But I mean, I just kind of like just sucked it up and I bought her a whole bunch of long sleeves. These were $7 each. So that kind of added up super quick. But um, yeah, none of the stuff from last year fits her. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I got from Target and Dollar Tree. So I will see you in the next clip. <laughs> you guys what I got at Walmart um excuse my appearance appearance I just changed because I'm going to be doing the Christmas tree so I kind of wanted to be comfortable and I didn't want to 
I mean the white like the flocking stuff on it just like gets everywhere so I didn't want to get anything that I cared about like too messy so first I bought um ornament hooks I always misplace the ones that I get and they're only 98 cents I really like to get the short ones because they I like my ornaments to like not hang so when you place them in a spot like they're exactly where you want them to be they're not like hanging down lower if that makes sense and I always um, load up my Christmas tree with ornaments I put a lot of ornaments on my tree so sometimes they're touching and when they're hanging it just looks weird so these make it so um, I can place them exactly where I want so when I had gone every year that I go I usually almost always get my ornaments at Walmart because they're so inexpensive and I buy like the big tub of 60 and I don't know if it's because they were still like putting ornaments out or the Christmas stuff it wasn't all completely out but they did not have the big tub of red gold and green so that was really annoying because I usually will just purchase like one or two of those I think they're 20 bucks they're like 17 18 dollars so it ends up being pretty cost effective for me um but they didn't have them and I didn't want to wait for them to put them out or whatever so i just got these ones so i got a tub of red and these bring 26 in them i got a green and i got a gold and then next i got these i got a two pack of these 18 shatterproof ornaments and they have like the big ones and they also didn't have like a gold. Um, so now that I think of that, I might have to go back. They had like a white and gold, but then I was like, that's like a lot of different colors. So what I might do is I'm going to use, I always save my receipts for just in case I decide like, okay, like this is too much or it just doesn't go. So I might get the same pack of white and gold. And then I saw these and I was like, oh my God, I'm definitely getting this. So this has white in it. So maybe if I get the bigger white ones, it won't look so weird. But I like that they have like the um, Ray Dunn kind of um, font on them. So I got one of these and these are five bucks. So I'm like, that's a steal. And then I got these in white and gold. So, I mean, I'm pretty set with ornaments thus far. What I usually do is I will put out an entire color. I will scatter it around and then I'll put another color and then I will put another color. That way I can see like what areas need um, what color. And then I always put the bigger ones on last. And then I actually bought a star, which let me go grab it because I forgot one more thing that I had purchased because the star that I bought, I actually have to return and I will tell you why. So one more thing that I bought, which I actually bought um, a similar sign or the same brand last year, but it's like a Santa or welcome Santa sign and I still have it up. But I saw this red truck one and I was like, I totally need to get it. And these are $5. So they're so cute to just hang in your windows, especially if you can't really decorate outside. So I live on like in a mobile home park and I have like my own yard. I have a pretty big yard, but I really don't have like an area in the front that I can decorate. So um, I like being able to put up, you know, little things like that. And then this is the star that I bought. It's very pretty, but if you look at the lights, they're white lights. And I don't know why I didn't think to like check it. Um, my tree has like warm white lights, so this is just not gonna go. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find something different. Last year I had a really hard time finding a tree topper that I liked. Um, I'm pretty like particular. I love this style. I love the style of it. If it could just come with like warm lights, which it might, then I would love it. But I just, I can't keep it. It's not gonna match. So I'm gonna have to return it. Today's Saturday, so I'm not gonna go today, I don't think, because our Walmart is not very good um especially when you're trying to make a return the line is just ridiculous 
So I'm probably not going to go today, which is, I might have to go today actually, because if I finish the tree, I'm just going to be annoyed. Although I do have a different tree topper that I could put up in the meantime, and it does not light up and it's gold. So I know it'll match. Um, but another thing that I noticed that I really don't like is the gold in this doesn't really, it's a more of like a yellow tone and this is more of like a cool gold and this is like a warm. So it's like, is that, I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait. And, I mean, either way, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm so like finicky about the tree. I don't need to be, but I, it's like one of my, it's my favorite part of Christmas. I just love sitting back and looking at my tree. So with that being said, let's get started. <laughs> Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that If everyone is here to celebrate one day We have our ups and downs But when there's love there's always a way And oh this time of year So I just want to show you guys a few of the decorations that I'm going to be using These are actually um these carolers I forget the specific brand um, for them but it's I know it's like a really popular brand oh the buyers buyers choice carolers is what they're called and I actually found these at savers and I paid maybe like three or four dollars a piece which is crazy because they go for like 50 a set so definitely check your local thrift stores because you can get lucky and you can find some really like invaluable um, Christmas decorations I think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to yes I am on my way we'll put our simple I have this um, centerpiece that is from hearth and hand and I just filled it with the greenery that you guys saw in the beginning of the video that I bought at the Target dollar spot 
Um, you can also see these, I forget the name of these kind of candles. There's like a specific name for them. But I also bought them at the same time. And I kept the plastic on them to just to keep the quality like nice and that they wouldn't get nicked. And it's actually worked out well. And in the inside here, you can just see that I also put in two picks that have pine cones. Um, they're actually the same picks that I have in my garland. And then I have my little Yankee Candle Turkey, which you can put like a little votive in it. And I got this tablecloth from Walmart in mid-October, I think. I think it's perfect for Thanksgiving and just kind of like that in-between time between November and Christmas. Um, and then also over in this corner, I wasn't sure what to do with this little candle stand, so I just kind of stuck it here. And then I got these from the Target Dollar Spot as well, and I thought that they would just go perfectly. So I also have this area above the dining room that I want to put some Christmas picks in just to make it a little bit more festive and maybe add a little bit more Christmas colors. Um, that little Better Not Pout sign is actually a, um, what do you call it, an ornament, but I like it up here a lot better. And then I have a Christmas countdown that I'm thinking about putting in this corner over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I threw it together pretty quickly because I wanted you to be able to find the things that I bought. Um, I will be doing a part two, so make sure to stick around for that because I did find a lot more things that I think you might like.